Hey guys, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and I travelled all the way to Plymouth. So we're going to be doing another Lego festival. So turn around. So you go zoom in a bit. So I'm at the Plymouth Life Centre. We're in Plymouth. It's a huge leisure centre. There you go guys. There's a loading bay. And it's Rex ne right next to Plymouth Argyle Football Club. There you go. So let's go inside. Find my tables, start getting the stock in, setting up, and ready to trade by half past nine when the doors open. Clearly, boots. So I'll uh, see you all after. Bye for now, guys. Okay, so these are my two tables. As you can see, there's nothing on them yet. Not even no black tablecloths. So I'm gonna go to the car, start bringing everything in, set up my stall so it'll be nice and ready in plenty of time before it opens, and I can have a look around. Okay, so welcome to the Brick Festival. This is what you'll be greeted with when you come in. So you've got the activity sign-up sheet there, so people can sign up to do different activities throughout the day. So look at the size of this stall, guys. You've got 10 tables and all backing tables as well. So there's a lot of money spent on outgoing cost on the tables plus the stock. But what a display. You must have every set ever made, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Chewbacca, large art set, which is a custom one. It's huge, there you go. Onto some of the displays. So you've got the Earth City. As you can see, he's still setting it up. So you've got a train track going around. You've got Derek there, I've seen him before in Cardiff. There's some amazing, beautiful models. He's adding some finishing touches. Got a horse on the platform. I don't know if he's going to fit on the train. But the track was all the way around. It's a huge, absolutely huge set. But I like the set by the train. you got like a Spider-Man carriage at the front. And then you got... There you go, closer look. Then you got Wayne Enterprise at the back. With all the superheroes. On the different carriages. There you go. Wayne Enterprises. Obviously from DC Batman. And you see all different Batmans. Probably like the character Joker, he's probably up to no good. You got Hogwarts Express. So the boy had some problems trying to get it to work on the track as you can see. So hopefully it'll be working after. You got a Hogwarts station with the poster advertising the escape of the prisoner of Azkaban. There you go, some more Hogwarts. Nice little castle section. Over the bridge. Quite a little idea between the gap with two um, tables. You got Jurassic Park area. I hope the train don't stop, but there the dinosaur will be trying to eat the train. You've already got one person in his mouth. Poor little Lego figure. So all the different areas, so all the dinosaurs. So onto another station, you got all different lightsabers, custom made and guns, blasters. <coughs> some Sonic screwdrivers, Pokemon ball, some swords, a lot of detail in these sets. Got a Darth Maul's lightsaber. Look how happy the guy is. Hopefully he'll sell some of their models today. So on to the next one. Got like a lava flow of all the knights. Looks like a scene out of Lord of the Rings. Onto the bird table. Zoom up a bit so you can see the three birds. So Lego don't do anything to do with military. So you can't buy you can buy planes and helicopters and different things, but you can never buy anything military based. Or army or sector, you know, to with war and fighting. So obviously all these are custom made, different ones you could get. So there you go, like you got a Plymouth bomb, the gentleman was saying about. I've never heard of it, but he said it was rather famous on the news. So you got all different vehicles from the military. A lot of information about each one. 
we go some more planes. Little scene on the ammunition box. The Blues Brothers. I don't know what I got to do with military, but the idea on this table. Little friend set. And you had all little different dioramas for all different Disney characters. I thought it was quite nice. Everyone is awesome. Little joke, uh, little vehicle. There's some more Disney little buildings. So you can see Peter Pan, Ariel, Oscar, no, sorry, Oswald, Donald Duck, Scrooge McDuck with all his money. So he's had his energy drink, but he's probably hard to work. Star Wars display. So there's a lot of detail in all these different designs. Some of them are really, really clever. Some more little buildings, little um, biking village. With a pizza truck by the side of it. I don't know why that happened, but it is what it is. Little Hobbit or Lord of the Rings section. Roadrunner, Wild Coyote. Gonna act me rocket. Hopefully you'll have some luck with the rocket. There's a nice little set down there. A lot of vintage sets on this one. I was asking the gentleman how he transported it. Obviously he breaks it up into sections when he's pressing it on it to show me. And he said obviously it's hard to transport some of the vehicles just because it's the size of them. And how fragile some of them are. Look how big it is, it's huge. A lot of detail. All the little small elements make up one big set. So this one looks quite nice. All little different small little marks. So you got Star Wars. Got the Matrix, as if the bullets are in slow motion. I was pointing out there, saying to the gentleman how good he was. You got the scene from the um, original Batman when he blew up the power plant. You got at the back, but that Mission Impossible. But we come up to my favourite video, you got Blade Runner. But Back to the Future with Twin Pine Malls and the Libyans chasing the DeLorean and crashing to the the booth. And then you got the one from Back to the Future 2, by the side. Got the vehicle from Blade Runner, which is also in Back to the Future 2. The grey and the blue. That's the scene with the hoverboard just before we got struck by lightning. And then obviously it's Back to the Future 3. But I absolutely love that set. What a nice creation. Really, really clever. A lot of detail. You can see the fire trails on the DeLorean. And you got Robocop. And it's going up now. Got Jurassic Park. With a little pen. I was trying to guess them all I was. Some of them were a lot easier. So that was the hardest one. Now I'm only joking. Jaws. You got Tron and you got Hogwarts with the express train. But you're always small, you can see like there's a lot of detail in them. I have to go back and film them the back of the picture one again. If he's not looking, I think I'm gonna have to borrow that set and take it home. <laughs> not me joking. But yeah, it's nice. So it's gonna look at some more of the displays. Some different Formula One cars. All different colours. And then on to the next one. This little boy created this one with his parents. So he's pointing out different aspects of it. So you, the Stormtrooper on the surfboard at the front. And he showed me at the back end, he's pointing. And you've got a little Stormtrooper some baby with his little lollipop. So that's the parents there, and he, I went back to have another look later. There you go, we've got Obi-Wan. He's got the high ground, that's where the boy is pointing out. 
And he's telling me about how he created all the different studs. You've got the black and white brick heads and you've got the doctor at the front. A lot of stormtrooper little figures. So the next ones, these are sets you could buy, like the Ford Raptor. I'm using a site called Rebrickable. You can even buy instructions or some people are actually will give them for free. And you could actually create all these different models by buying the original set and changing them. So I think it's really clever. You got a Joker bust. Got a Batmobile, sorry, Batman little figure with a light to cast in his shadow. You got a Batman bust. Onto the Wild West. So there's all different scenes. You got like the bank, you got obviously the water tower. You got the Indians at the front in the canoes. The signs advertising the gold mine. And if you look, you can see all the robbers coming around just about to um, rob the bank. You've got a stagecoach, obviously, with the westerns. So, Lethal Company is called. Nice little display model. Onto a, a Roman large scale model. So, you got Julius Caesar at the end, but I'm guessing. So, all the men ready to betray him. You got all the Roman guards. There you go, look how many of them, there's loads of them. I had a couple of them on sale on my store today, I have. Some Jurassic Park minifigures and the large scale dinosaurs. I won't even try and pronounce some of them. Well, go on, I give one a go. Triceratops, that's the easiest one to pronounce, I think. So these are quite good, they actually photo frames, but as you can see, it's all made up with Lego and got like the 3D effect, quite similar to the Spider Man set. So you had the Terminator and Donkey Kong. So obviously you got support on Lego ideas. So if you're getting enough support, they could actually be created into sets you could buy, such as you know, the Winnie Pooh one that's been done recently. I'm tired. Short Circuit, again with the 3D aspect. So again, these are similar to Rebrickable, where people actually buy different sets and actually convert them into these models. I think my favourite is the Land Rover Defender converted it here you go, into like a military vehicle, like the Hammer. I think the green one's really, really clever. There you go, see the side of it. So that's all the displayers. Okay, so this is my stall all set up, ready before the venue opens. So as you can see at the back, I got a lot of stock sets high. So all different ones. You got some mini figures on the pin board. Got them in the display cabinets at the front. Got a couple of mocks I created myself for A Team and Night Rider. So quite a few different venues. So on to different sections. So I got Star Wars trying to group them together. Got Harry Potter. I even took some uh, Monkey Kid sets this time for the first time. I've never taken them to the venues before. Took some Mario sets as well to the side. Next to the Brickheads. So it's all nicely stacked high. Hopefully none will fall over and get damaged. So there you go. So as you can see, there's a lot of sets on display. And i got quite a lot behind ready. So when I sell, I'll keep on replenishing them throughout the day. So hopefully it'll be busy. So it's me just coming from the toilet. You can see people already queuing. Going past all the different people. So... We've just opened, so you can see all the people coming in. There's quite a lot of people already coming in. Really, really good. So hopefully it'll stay like this throughout the day. I mean, come and buy things off my stall. Hey guys, as you can see, behind me all the cars fully loaded. There's my jacket. There's all the Lego stacked away in the car. So. Just leaving Plymouth, can I have a little drink and something to eat quick before I go? So how did today go? So for the Brick Festival, it was busier compared to the Toy Festivals, but been to a lot busier ones than today. It was still a successful day, as you've seen in the video earlier, it was a lot of people walking around, buying different sets off different people. I even had a couple of sales myself, so that's a positive, but always. So today, I had... 
So the company, what they do is every brick festival you go to, they give you the brick at the bottom, Plymouth. And obviously there's my little logo man on top. So it's a nice little added bonus. There you go. People keep these bricks and they make like little displays of them. So I got a couple, I haven't got many of them. So hopefully I might get a couple more by the end of the year. So keep watching my videos and by the end of the year, you can see how my channel grows and how my little Lego stack grows at the same time. So obviously, like I said just now, all the cars packed ready to go home. But I'm going to keep them in the boxes because I'm going to have two weeks off. And then the 7th of April, I'm going to Barnsley. So hopefully that'll be a really, really successful day as well. But the highlight of today was a subscriber came up to me when I was coming out of the toilet and they were coming to go in and he shouted in my name and I was thinking, who shouted me? Turned around and this guy was walked towards me, tapped me and said, oh, you watch your videos on YouTube. And it was only a little small thing, but oh, I was so happy. It was so, so good. And then when they let him in, he come to the store, we had a little chat for a while. So hopefully you'll be watching this video today. So I didn't catch your name. So if you drop it in the comments, but I say hello to you. Hello to the subscriber which said hello to me today. It was nice to meet you. I hope you're enjoying my future videos and thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. So don't forget others to share, like and subscribe and bye for now.